Today, I'll show you how to add a button in your WordPress header menu. Adding a button in the header navigation menu, it lets you create a more noticeable area or call to action for your users. It can get more clicks to the most important page that you have on your site. So in this video, I'll walk you through step-by-step step on how to do that for your website. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Now, some themes like this is the Astra theme. They already come with the ability to make the last button or the last menu item in your navigation a button. But if you don't have something like Astra installed, let me show you how you can get this done. So now I've changed to the default WordPress theme and I want to make this last one a button. So to do that, we'll head over to our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we want to go to Appearance, Menus, and I want to change my Services one to a button. So we're going to expand this, and there's some extra information that I want to see here. To be able to see the CSS information, we want to come up to Screen Options and pull the dropdown, and we want to select CSS Classes because we want to be able to show those. Now that I'm finished with that, I can put that back up. And when we scroll back down, we see now there's a CSS class that we can add. Now we need to add a class. And this is something that you need to make that is completely unique and something that you know that you're using. For instance, I'll use the menu button. I'm simply creating this. And now let's go ahead and save menu. Now we need to add some CSS to our website. And now we need to add a bit of code. And you can get this bit of code on our link. I'll have a link in the description below to our written tutorial on this that will also showcase all of this information. So because I made the services class menu dash button, I want to keep that here. If you change that or make it something else, then you'll want to make this the same exact thing. But otherwise, we want to copy all of this. I'm going to copy this and we want to go to our customize. So under appearance, customize, you have an additional CSS information done here. So let's expand this and you may or may not have some CSS already here. I don't, but I'm going to paste that bit of code here. And you see, as soon as I added that information, our button pops up here because this is all of the information that I gave it. Now, these are the colors that are specific to our website. You'll want to change this for your website. For instance, if you just want to type in red or any hex code that you want, you can type that in and it will automatically populate. You see here, it gives us a little border and all of this. So you can play with all of the CSS information, but by default, once you have that in there, once you click publish, then now you have a button in your navigation system. And then once you add that, you can use something like Monster Insights to track the conversion rate on that button. Monster Insights connects your website to Google Analytics and it can track certain events like how many people are filling out a form, how many people are downloading something, how many people are clicking on a button, and so much more. To get started with Monster Insights, you can head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPB VIP and you'll get the best discount on Monster Insights. And now make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step step on how to install and configure Monster Insights with your website. And I'll see you over there.